Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be reviewing this set right here. It is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Bold Lip Set. This is brand new for the holiday and I'm going to be reviewing, lip swatching, and breaking down the value of each product in this little set. This box retails for $28 US and it comes with six lip products inside. One is full size and the rest are sample. So let's get into this. So they come out with a few sets like this every year. Um, throughout the year, I got a nude, give me some nude lip set a few months ago, I believe. And they always come in this cute little lip shaped box. And um, the products are not really packaged neatly. They're just kind of thrown in here, but um, nothing is breakable really so um, yeah I'm gonna try to go through these in the order that makes most sense as to what will not be staining my lips so I think I'm gonna start with the Bite Beauty product so this box retails for $28 in the US and Sephora is saying that it's a $75 value is it really a $75 value I know the answer and I'll tell you at the end but uh, along the way I'll be telling you the value of each product which I got by taking the cost of the full size product dividing that by the number of ounces in the full size product and then taking that number and multiplying it by the number of ounces in the sample size and that's the actual value of it um, I'm gonna tell you right now the actual value is not $75 but I won't tell you if it's more or less until the end. The first product is the Sephora Collection Rouge Cream Lipstick. This is number 49 in the shade Belly Dancing, and you get 0.03 ounces of product. The value of this guy only comes to $2.68. So Sephora describes this as a hydrating lipstick that creates full lips with intense color. So this is definitely a deep, bright, bold red. I really like the color of this one and it's very creamy on the lips. Uh, I could see this being very comfortable for a long wear. This isn't a matte finish. I would say it's more like a natural satin finish, um, but I really like it. So up next we have the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon and this is in the shade Aubergine. You're getting, again, 0.03 ounces of product in this, which um, actually puts it at a value of $14.40. Bite Beauty says the secret is the moisture locking power of orange peel wax along with the antioxidant properties of Reservatrol. Each gorgeous shade is water resistant and long wearing. So I would describe this color as a deep wine berry color. Um, again, this one is a very comfortable formula, like I said. Um, it was interesting reading the description of having the wax in there. Um, I think I can definitely feel that this one is waxier um, and more slippery on the lips than the Sephora one. But again, it's definitely very comfortable and um, I like the scent too. You can smell that orange in there, like it said. So the next lip color in this set is the Laura Mercier Velour Lovers Lip Color, and this is in the shade An Affair. This is the full size product in this set, and it has 0.12 ounces of product, and its value is $28. So there's the whole value of the box right there, essentially. Laura Mercier describes this as an innovative matte lipstick that fuses delicate mattifying powders with moisturizing mango butter. It provides lips with a sensorial application experience that creates a smooth, velvety texture. Just a single swipe lasts all day without drying or leaving lips feeling japped. All right, so I like this color a lot. Um, it kind of reminds me of the last one, um, the Bite Aubergine, but maybe less purple more deep red um it was definitely less opaque i had to do more swipes i think to build that color up 
but I think it feels more comfortable. It's a nice satin finish. Uh, it says it's matte. I don't, I don't know, maybe it dries down matte. Um, it feels very hydrating though, so. So those were the last of the traditional bullet lipsticks and the next three are all liquid lipsticks. So this one is the Tardis Creamy Matte Lip Paint by Tarte, if you couldn't tell by the word Tardis. Um, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but the shade color is Yas. 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 Mm. Anyway, um, this has 0.1 ounces of product in here, um, and the value is $10. It's exactly half of the full size, so you get a good bit of product in this little guy. Tarte describes this formula as an ultra pigmented, lightweight, moussey liquid lipstick in an array of long wearing, stylish, everyday colors. So this color is a little bit out there for me. I don't wear um, this shade of purple all that often. If I'm gonna wear purple, usually it's a bit deeper. I don't know, I can't tell if this one looks good on me. This is typically a shade that is gonna make your teeth look yellow. I don't know. Um, not sure if I could see myself wearing this one to work, but it's a fun color. I could definitely see myself wearing this at some point, um, maybe with the right eye makeup, uh, or maybe on Halloween, I don't know. I like it though, It I've tried this formula before, um, and it has mixed reviews for some reason. It's very, it's one of those moussier um, liquid lipsticks, it's not really liquid at all, and it doesn't always fully dry down, but it definitely feels like fluffy on the lips, if that's even possible. I don't know, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks and the Tarte formula is definitely different from all the other ones. I like it and I only have it in now three shades, but I really enjoy it in all of them. And it's definitely matte, which it, you know, some of these other ones have claimed to be matte. This one is matte right off the bat. Matt, right off the bat. Let's move on. <laughs> the next liquid lipstick in this box is the Ciate London Liquid Velvet, and this is the shade Head Over Heels. I've tried Ciate London's um, liquid lipsticks before in these little mini sizes. I think they had a set last year, and I, I think I tried one. I didn't like the color on me. It was like a nudie color, but it was really orange on me. So then I just never tried them again. And then I think I saw Chloe Morello put out her launch video for her Ciate set. And she had the most gorgeous lip color on. It was in the set. And then I realized I had that same color in my little trio from last year. And then I discovered that I love the formula. So I'm excited to try this shade on. It's a pretty hot pink though, um, I don't know if I'll be wearing this too often, but we'll see. So in this one you get 0 .06 ounces of product, and that puts the value of this at $5.18. Ciate describes this as a highly pigmented, gorgeous, matte, long wearing lip color with hyaluronic acid for its intense lip conditioning benefits so the lips appear fuller while feeling more supple and smooth. The creamy, non-drying lip formula is infused with Ciate London's proprietary blend of moisturizing plush pigment, and that's trademarked. And it features high performance pigments that glide onto the lips for bold color and extreme hold. Um, okay, so I think I like this color a lot more than I thought it was going to. I might be a hot pink girl, I didn't think I was, but this color is freaking gorgeous. Again, I already knew that I liked the formula. It's kind of like the Tarte one, actually, 
again like really moussey kind of a whipped formula but this one doesn't fully dry down um, I think you're gonna get some transfer throughout the day but personally I don't mind a little bit of transfer as long as the color is still on my lips and it has that comfort factor which for me I would take comfort with a little transfer over matte uncomfortable with no transfer I work an eight-hour day in an office and I can't be there like scrubbing my lips and you know conditioning them and using a lip scrub and all that if they end up cracking and in pain you know halfway through my day so I really look out for these comfortable liquid lipsticks and Ciate's formula is really becoming one of my favorites the more that I try all right, so we've come to the last liquid lipstick in the set, and this one I'm super excited for. I've never tried Kat Von D's formula, but I will today. Um, this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Damned. Uh, with this one, you get 0.1 ounce of the product, and that puts the value at $9.09. .09. It's just under half of the full-size product, basically. Kat Von D describes this as a long lasting and high pigment lip color. It's creamy color rich formula glides over lips like a gloss but dries to a true matte finish. It's infused with natural comfort enhancing ingredients including vitamin E and sunflower seed so you can flaunt lasting matte color that leaves lips feeling comfortable. All right, I'm gonna be honest with this one. Um, I'm kind of disappointed. It feels fine on the lips, um, but it's really patchy. I don't know if you can tell on camera at all, but I had to put two layers on and it's still not fully opaque, especially in the middle of my lower lip. I've heard amazing things about her formula though, so maybe it's just this color. This is, I'm assuming, one of the darkest ones in her line. I know she makes a black and like a dark purple and stuff, but um, yeah, this one's unfortunately just a little bit patchy. Um, hopefully I can make it work when my lips are maybe freshly exfoliated and moisturized, but um, right now I'm not not the most impressed with it uh, I'll probably still find a way to wear it or maybe with a lip liner underneath but I didn't want to use any lip liners in this video because I wanted to give each lipstick the fairest chance that I could so time for the grand total so we have six lip products what did we pay we paid $28 for this Sephora is saying that it's a $75 value is it really Unfortunately, no, it's not a $75 value. When you add all these up, you get $69.35. So it's pretty close, but it's not quite $75. Um, it's still ugh, way more than $28. And for me, it was worth purchasing. I'm really excited to wear the Laura Mercier one. I was surprised by the Sephora formula. It's super comfortable, and I like the color of that one a lot. Um, so I have a bunch of new lipsticks to wear this fall uh, that I'm very happy about and I would overall recommend buying this set as of right now it is still available on Sephora's website so uh, I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested in buying it it's not an affiliate link this is my first video on YouTube so I'm not sponsored <laughs> if that wasn't obvious mm. so anyway Thanks for sitting through this and hopefully you learned something or got something of value out of this video as to whether or not you want to buy this little set. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.